There's an invisible bond between the land and its users, knowledge. Knowledge is often built up over centuries, passing from generation to generation. This type of know-how tells people how to use natural resources and how to maintain their long-term productivity. Knowledge of sustainable land management is not static. It evolves in dynamic ways. Land users, conservation specialists and extension agents throughout the world continually evaluate their experience and experiment with new solutions. Until now, most of this knowledge, a valuable resource, has not been documented in a systematic way. Therefore, knowledge has remained local and isolated, something tied to the individual experience of farmers, communities or projects. The challenge is to make this global pool of experience available to others. This can foster learning and innovation, while also offering shortcuts to more efficient soil and water management approaches. These people also have practices, conservation practices, which could be of great potential value to the global community. I mean, they, they're doing things like, like ridging, like trash lines, uh, some very interesting intercropping and agroforestry systems, which have not yet been documented. Many projects focus on the exchange of experiences among farmers. Understanding someone else's success is possibly the most convincing argument for the adoption of a particular technology. However, on a national or even regional level, Procedures based on personal contact in the field are slow and costly. It's easier to move information than to move people. I use the grass strips with two objectives in mind, to protect the soil and to provide fodder for my livestock. I lose a considerable surface area due to terracing, typically two lines of corn for each terrace. Therefore, I maintain an adequate space between the grass strips. Knowledge such as this is common all over the world. The challenge is to make this diffuse and sparsely documented information available to others. This will bring obvious advantages. What we know in our own institution may be perhaps not available to other institutions and there is a lot of duplication of information. You have many little projects doing the same things. If they came together you would uh, spread the, 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 the resources a little better. We are actually presently spending a lot of money on very little options and so there is a danger of a repetition of uh, failures. With more options uh, there would be uh, actually a potential for um, avoiding mistakes. Avoiding mistakes implies tapping a complex, sometimes contradictory resource, knowledge. It has many facets which are sometimes confusing, yet the use of knowledge holds incredible promise. This conviction has led to an ambitious project known as WOCAT, World Overview of Conservation Approaches and Technologies. WOCAT has become a vehicle for documentation and exchange of know-how about conservation on an international scale. The idea for WOCAT evolved from the Global Assessment of Soil Degradation, this world map that was published in 1990, dealing mainly with degradation aspects of soils. And I thought we need something on the other side. We need to show the numerous experiences that have accumulated worldwide but are not available on a global scale. To bring these experiences together and make them available for local land users at the same time. This is the basic idea for the WOCAT program. Departing from its initial vision, WOCAT has developed tools and methodologies that work from field to field. 
Procedures are based on close cooperation between conservation experts, extension agents and land users. Thus, soil and water conservation technologies and approaches can be systematically documented. The practical perspective of farmers and their evaluation of a particular technique are crucial in the description of a particular solution. Processes have been field tested many times and modified in workshops all over the world. Today, WOCAT is a fully operational system in the service of sustainable land management. A well thought out process ensures that local information can be systematically recorded and pieced together. Data include details of the conservation technology or approach, as well as the environmental and socio-economic setting, and a cost-benefit analysis of the measures described. Data acquisition is guided by a set of three comprehensive questionnaires. Without the strips of napier grass, my goats and cows would have no fodder. Even the trees on the grass strips have many benefits, for example, providing this wood for constructing the house. WOCAT can uh, assist in first in training people, sharpening the minds of the extension workers, uh, so that they start to look for information in a more focused manner. And this information can be built up so that in every country and in every region, there is a build-up of information which can be used uh, by the extension workers uh, when they are trying to assist farmers. WOCAD processes information using standardized methods that are suitable for the most diverse farming systems and agroecological conditions. This facilitates comparison of knowledge and its transfer to other areas. Data are handled locally. Gradually, national, regional and global overviews can be built up step by step. Each example of documented experience adds to the overall benefits of the WOCAD program. Projects in countries that participate in WOCAT have direct and short-term advantages, above all, access to their own vast and diverse knowledge base. At the same time, of course, information is made available to the global community. The challenge was to find a method that can work in different parts of the world. It took a lot of effort first to find out whether there is some existing methodologies that we could use, but we realized that we had to develop something that was suitable to the different partners and uh, collaborators that got involved in the program. So over a period of five years, we were developing the methodology, testing it in different countries, realizing that uh, still, there need to be some adaptations to it, some improvements, testing it again. And after five years, we have established a methodology that most of the partners feel now comfortable to use in their programs and countries. The methodology is linked with a comprehensive set of tools that allow the following types of knowledge about soil and water management to be shared. Questionnaires on technologies, approaches and map data a database in digital format, tools for data retrieval and analysis, and outputs in many formats. <laughs>